I know many of you have been wondering if Alistair's room has changed up a bit or the play areas have changed up since I last showed you guys. Well, there hasn't been too much change, but I decided to show you guys what we did do. All right, so here we are in Alistair's playroom. Um, as you can see, let's take a look at behind here. So here we are in Alistair's room. As you can see, this is one of our new nugget configuration that uses all three of the nuggets we have. It's pretty popular. People like making this little stairs I've seen, and my son actually likes playing it on a lot. Uh, I haven't had it too long, but this is how, in case you're wondering how it's made, this is how it is. So yeah, it looks a little bit slanted like this, but from the front, it just looks like regular stairs, and my son has quite a bit of fun playing on this one. So if you have um, maybe two sets of nuggets, you can go ahead and give it a try and see how your kid likes it. My son likes it. Here, um, he's been really into train tracks and cars and everything. So that's why you see that he has a lot of trains here for him to play with. With this track, kind of changes often depending on how if he gets bored of it, I make a new one for him. Um, we do have multiple train piece sets. I think we have two of these eight figure eight sets. Um, you can make some pretty big stuff with it. So it's pretty fun for him. And then next to it, as you can see, this is his car section. We have, um, as usual, his die-cast cars. And I do have another set back here. Usually I don't like keeping stuff in boxes. However, he really likes this box and he likes keeping all the toys in here and he cleans up and puts it back in here. So it's nice having it as a kind of like a learning session for him to clean up and put stuff back in. So that's why I've kept this box. Okay, of course, this is just a love every toy and similar to the reason why I kept that box. This is like dinosaurs. He is really into dinosaurs. Dinosaurs and cars are his two favorite thing right now. I'm not even sure why he started liking dinosaurs, but this is actually a pretty decent set because it comes with these dinosaurs that are pretty realistic looking. And it also comes with a little booklet. Oh, let me get to it. So it comes with a booklet here with matching dinosaurs. So you can see here the parasaurial office has the matching real realistic looking dinosaur next to it, which is something we liked a lot in the set. And I think my son really likes playing with this. So if your child likes dinosaurs, this is something I would definitely suggest. Okay, more love every toys here as usual. Um, here we have the buckle one. He hasn't quite mastered this buckle yet. This is still the hardest buckle for him. Um, but the other ones he's getting better at. And recently I just put it back uh, instruments in here to see how he likes it. Usually he has not been very interested in it. However, we want to see his reaction since he has been kind of banging on stuff a lot and been playing air drums. So while we don't have drums, we can use this kind of like a makeshift drum. So up here we uh, just have easy tissues for him to reach as well as a small little trash can for him. So whenever he does have anything he needs to throw away, he has it right here. Okay, here we have, um, we have, well, I also have a love every one of this. I'll show you guys in a bit, but it's very weird that he likes sleeping when my parents take care of him. He likes sleeping in this room and napping in this room. But when I take care of him, he likes napping on the upstairs play area, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, this cot was one that we had from his previous um, school that he was at. Um, it's called Tot Cots. It's actually pretty decent. He likes it a lot. Maybe it's just something he's familiar with. The good thing about this one versus Love Every is that it's easy wash. You can throw everything in the wash, even the pillow. So that's nice. The Love Every one, you don't throw the pillow in it. You can also put this one in the dryer as well. The Love Every one, you cannot. But the thing is, this one is not... Let me just go ahead and open it. See if I can get it open for you guys. It's pretty thin. So versus Love Every one, it's definitely high, much higher quality, as you can see. Um, it's pretty thin. So it's... During the winter time, depending on what the weather is, it might not be good enough. All right, so this is just something for him to play with his toys on if he wants to take it out and play with. Um, he doesn't use it too often anymore. He used to use it more, um, but it's pretty random. Sometimes he'll like playing with it. All right, next here we have his calming corner. So this is where we have all the stuff from the Gen Mindful stuff. Um, I have a separate video describing this if you're interested in more of this um, calming corner ideas. Okay. And this is the bookshelf that I, well, this is a magazine rack that I converted into a bookshelf. 
Um, I will have links down below. I found one on Amazon that's similar. However, it seems like this color is always sold out. Then the color that's available is the darker one. So you might have to wait a bit, but I did hear some people eventually um, getting this color that comes back in. And one more thing before we go, um, well, before we leave off of this, let's see. So this is a magazine rack. And what I did was I put these PVC pipes. There's two sets of them. These are the one inch ones. So I put two sets of them in here just so that you can get the books higher. Otherwise they would fall in and you, they wouldn't be able to see the books. Possibly you can get another, probably get away with another PVC pipe in here as well. So the books are even higher, but so far my son has been okay with this. And these are little, I know many people have been asking me about where I got these. These are from Ikea. I have a link down below as well. These actually come in a little set. It comes with a trash can and everything. It's for nursery, but we've been using it like this for the books. All right, so this is our second toy shelf. Um, we do like that it's kind of separated, that he has two areas to go to for toys. Sometimes I do choose to put like a puzzle or something small up here. However, since right now there's so much things to do in his room, I've taken that out and tried to limit it a little bit more. Okay, next to here we have some stepping stones for him to play with. Um, usually when we don't have this nugget configuration, um, he likes throwing it on the floor and walking around with it everywhere. But uh, with this current configuration, the room looks a little bit small. So since he does nap in his room, there's all, we do need a way to kind of monitor him in case you know anything happens. Just keep an eye on him. And the camera that we've been using, um, it's actually been in the room for a long time now, and I don't think I've ever shown you guys, is the Wise camera here. Um, it's pretty nice and cheap, and it does the job. Um, I put these little um, just connectors here to hide the wire a bit as it kind of just goes up, which is nice. Um, but he doesn't actually mess with this much because, well, let me move this tripod out the way real quick. The door is always open. So it kind of covers everything there. So he doesn't go play with any of that stuff or tries to unplug it. At least we've been lucky with that. So if your child kind of likes pulling the wires, you might have to figure something out out if you want to use the wise camera. Because I want to say when I got this, it was really cheap. It was like under 20 bucks. The cameras have gone up a little bit now. They're like $35. So it's a little bit more pricey now. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a look at his upstairs play area. That's the area that kind of changes more often because there's more room up there. So there's more things I can do with it. All right, so this is his latest configuration of our upstairs play area. It's pretty much kind of like a little obstacle course that I made for him um, with his balance board sliding down. And these are the Ikea tunnels that we used because they have a nice attachment um, to these little bigger sections here. And he really loves playing with these tunnels. So. And they're much cheaper than Love Everyone. The Love Everyone is better quality though, I would say. Um, but this is cheaper and easier to connect them. All right, here we have our Pickler Triangle set. Um, it's something that he's just started playing with recently a lot more and started climbing and doing things with it. So that's good that we're finally making use of it. Uh, we got this one off of Etsy. Quality is pretty good, pretty pricey still. So I'm actually not 100% sure how other Pickler Triangles are because I haven't really interacted with too many versions. But I am happy with this one that we have. All right, so here in the middle section, we have a balance beam for him to play with. This is a very new thing for him. This is the first time he's seen it at all when I made this little obstacle course for him to play with. What is that, Baba? And in the middle is probably one of his favorite things right now. It's the ball pit. Um, it's not a real ball pit. It's a inflatable pool. Um, it's not really the colors we like, but it was cheap. We got it on Marshall, I want to say, for like $3. I can't remember, but it was really cheap. And one thing I do like about it is that on the bottom, it's, well, when you blow up the thing, you can blow up air onto the bottom, which is nice because he likes jumping onto here. So it has a nice little air cushion. So upstairs here, we have more stepping stones for him um, with a little mini hopscotch pattern for him to jump onto the bed or from the bed to the patterns. Um, he hasn't done it too much, but he likes jumping. So there's something that we've just let him set play with. And the reason why we have this bed here now is because Previously, we had nuggets up here, at least one nugget, and that was kind of like the base for him to nap on. Now I use the mattress as something for him to nap on, and we go ahead and use the Love Every sleeping mat, which is the one that I like better just because it's nice and thick. All right, so now on to his toys. This is something my wife made previously. I mentioned this in a video. It's just from little wipes with a little bunch of things for him to play with. Um, he hasn't been playing with this as much, but he does like opening and closing things. So there's something he likes. A little sweeper thing just from the pretend clean. But although you can actually really clean with this because it will pick up dirt. And a little mini bookshelf for him for any books he wants to read up here. Does that, okay. 
And then here we have a setup for the shelves with all the toys up here. Um, there used to be only KiwiCo toys here, but since the KiwiCo boxes have kind of been changed a little bit, um, it's been more love every toys up here now as well. And this is, um, he doesn't really play with the Abacus much, but we just leave it up here just in case he does. The Grimm's Rainbow. And this is something that's really fun. So we got these little um, packets of fun mag Magnafun from Target section. I want to say the yeah, $3 section. They're, you know, the little nice fun section in front of Target. These are little magnetic dinosaurs. They have like dinosaurs, farm animals, and some other things. But it's pretty random. I don't know if it's still there at Target, but they might. Um, and this is like a little board, magnetic board that we got. Well, it's a metal board that we got from Ikea so that he can just play with these magnetic toys. Let me know down below in the comment section if you have any questions about any of the items that I forgot to mention or maybe some brands of stuff. Um, I'll try to link as much as I can down below in the description for you guys to click on. However, if I do miss something, just let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll catch you next time.